turtles and tortoises have been abused terribly for many centuries, indeed from almost the dawn of time, as far as humans are concerned. They are easy to catch, and they are good to eat, and they are slow breeding, and they are slow to mature. So they're really very vulnerable, despite having these hard shells. Some of these uh, turtle conservation projects, like Archie Carr's work at, in Tortuguero, Costa Rica, have been going for, on for so long and so intensively that uh, they have become very, very well known worldwide. Across the ocean in Africa, you've got an opposite situation. For many of those countries, there is very, very little scientific peer-reviewed literature as to what's going on. We think we know the species there, but their deployment we don't know, and we don't know their status. And I think the organization that is being put together right now by Manjula Tawari and colleagues is going to institutionalize that phenomenon of working in remote places, befriending the people, getting to, getting to know them, and getting to have them like you. Because if they don't like you, they're not going to do anything you say. And you can't just pass laws and regulations because they tend to be written on pieces of paper in the capital city and never really enforced, quite frankly. It has to be a community-based thing and something based upon scientific knowledge, but with the input of the people concerned.